Hi everyone, so today I thought we'll do something a little bit more fun because I've been doing these um, watercolour comparison for a couple of um, the last couple of days and it's been quite sort of intense in terms of I need to really concentrate, need to look up all the pigments and everything so I thought I just want to relax a little bit and do something fun. So, um, as always I will leave my nail polish info somewhere down here and let's go ahead. So in one of my previous videos I had um, I, I shown you this notebook just very briefly and I didn't tell you well I, I tried to say that I started something new recently um, but I didn't show you what's um, inside. So um, this is a notebook I got in TK Maxx a few months ago and it's been sitting on my desk and it looks really great. I mean it looks quite great with the interior because I have a gold um, light on my desk and it kind of, it, yeah it really works well so it's, I love this sort of texture and obviously it says confession of a fashionable mind. Now it's a kind of like a thin but not too thin paper and it's lined. I kind of went off writing. I don't know, I used to really love writing and these days I enjoy the creative aspect of a notebook or a journal. So I decided why don't I create um, like a journal but an artistic sort of like an ideas journal and utilize my uh, magazines and things like that. So I wouldn't, you know, cut up a Vogue because I have a Vogue collection and I would not <laughs> in in the um, worst nightmares um, do that, um, dream of, but um, I would definitely take one of those smaller magazines and they're great for this type of thing. So here is what I have started doing. So when you open up, it um, I quite like this. It's sort of like an off-white paper and it's got dots in there. To be honest with you, I wish the entire notebook had those dots. They, they look really cool with um, collages and things like that. So for my kind of opening spread, I decided to just do a little... So let me just double check what magazine this is. This is Marie Claire and I really like their layout. So this is an older um, edition, issue from, where was it, May? Yeah, May 2017. And so um, they do these great kind of pages where they collage, like you can see they collage items from the runways and fashion items and just everything there. So you can just pick um, a part that you like and kind of cut it out and it's a ready-made collage for you so you don't even need to work at it so this is this was already ready-made and I kind of cut out what I liked and then I just used some washi tape over here and I put down May 2017 just to kind of remember where this this is coming from but as in which um, season and year this was fashionable in because the idea of this sketchbook is just to put ideas together and be inspired for my fashion illustrations so if I for example look at May 2017 and I know ruffles were fashionable then I might want to kind of um, put that into an illustration so then I went ahead and I did the first kind of page here. Um, so I started, I was inspired by, let me just try and find it. From one of my previous videos you have, I have shown you. I'll just quickly find it. Yeah, from this transparency test I told you that I used the colours on the, um, on this kind of tear off palette paper which I really love because nothing goes to waste I just keep it like that and then if I, for example here I have Winsor Newton a little bit left and I really don't want to throw it out because it's gorgeous color 
it's one of those pink colors I don't quite remember right now but it's beautiful and I just want to throw it out so I'll keep it like that and nothing goes to waste so literally I used those colors from that palette and created these um, flowers which I actually have a video of the process video so go have a look if you want and then I decided to do the same theme carry it out onto my um, journal I think I'll call it fashion journal and that's what I attempted to do here but um, I'll come back to that in a second so what I've done here is I decided to kind of frame this page and I think I might do something on top as well something similar maybe just flip these flowers around and just frame it that way so that I would kind of have an oval for a title however um, the title is messed up so for the title let me just grab this bobble <laughs> on my desk um, I have shown you this in one of my art um, hobby craft haul videos where I said that they had like a Christmas um, major kind of section where they were selling products related to Christmas and these little stamps came in in those bubbles and now that I have used them although they're cheap they're not expensive but I really would um, warn you not to get them because look at that I only use them like once or twice and they already starting to come off you can see they're done really badly so actually when you stamp it kind of makes it move on paper and then smudges so that's horrific and also no matter how carefully I tried not to um, not to kind of get the ink over this area around the stamp uh, letter and I would wipe it still somehow I got these marks which really bothered me and also a um, is the worst letter to stamp because it just doesn't stamp properly and it just messes up the whole thing. Some of the letters were perfectly fine, like U and was great, um, so I didn't have problems with those. But in general, I literally am going to just throw this away because I don't want to go through this every single time. But if something like this doesn't bother you because you kind of like that sort of DIY stamping effect then you totally can um, keep using that or you know be, be um, that would be useful for you but for me I love the font I really like the font but I hate the quality of these stamps so this is going in the trash bin for sure I, I also bought the same thing for numbers I haven't tried those properly but I will see if they are as bad as this, then definitely going um, in the trash bin as well. So, the, um, so this will need to be corrected. And I haven't 100% decided yet what I'm going to do. But I know I want to cover it up somehow. Possibly stick a collage here. But something where I could make the title still be the, the first kind of the, the focal point of this page because I don't know I kind of was thinking of I found this spread the um, Chanel Karl Lagerfeld spread and I thought what could be better than making Mr. Karl Lagerfeld you know be part of my fashion journal title but I kind of have a feeling that it might take over I don't know I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet but um so then on the next page so I kind of stamped it um was it yesterday no a couple of days ago I did that so I stamped the the date I didn't do any writing I just thought um it's just going to be kind of like illustration based and also because it's a title page again I didn't want to distract from that then I went ahead and I thought I was kind of um, last night I thought you know let me do something again just because I want to be doing it if I can on a daily basis because this is just purely relaxation for me I just sit down open a page and just start cutting out different shapes and kind of try to be creative with it and kind of 
just use up my washi tapes and I don't know do some doodling and just really relax and that is a great way of relaxing for me because I don't need to be very precise with it so essentially what I wanted to share in this video um, not only to introduce you to my fashion journal um, but also to say and share how I would correct something in a journal because obviously a journal is something I wouldn't recommend to your pages out of and you can mess up really easily because it's a different paper to what you're used to um, and the paper reacts differently to inks, different to watercolors, it just and there is no way to really try it unless you go right to the back and actually do and leave some pages to to have swatches on if that's something you want to do. Um, for now I haven't um, done that because I don't know, I just don't feel like it. So here for instance what I have done apart from this mess up situation is um, so I, after I was finished with things, I decided to just add some details because something was missing and I decided to do some of these doodles, if I just zoom in for you. So these doodles right here, so they're kind of like daisy and I thought they go quite well because they have sort of a similar style to, um, these kind of, um, elongated um, trunks <laughs> of the flower, what are they called? I'm not sure. So yeah, so that's what I thought to do. And for the centers, well actually no, I'll tell you what I did first. So first of all, if I just grab one, one second. First of all, I used this um, Coral Heidi Swap um, Color Shine spray so the color settles all the shimmer settles at the at the bottom so you have to give it a good shake and i don't actually use it as a spray because it kind of sprays everywhere but i do like to just unscrew the bottle and kind of use the tip of it just to do some splatters and so i've done some splatters in three areas so if I just zoom out so I've done some splatters in three areas because triangles are usually um, visually quite um, pleasing to the eye. And so I've done those splatters and immediately I could see that the um, spray just went through the page. So it dissolved completely. So if you spray this on a cardstock or on a thicker watercolour paper, you will see that the um, spray is sitting like a little drop of color and it's not going anywhere and actually you need to dab it off and then dry it to to kind of carry on with things but here it just completely dissolved in, and went inside the paper and i thought oh my goodness what have i done so i flipped over and of course it went through here so what i done uh, is to cover it up on this side i decided to just do some whimsical patterns and actually when you look at it you didn't think that it was a mess up did you so when you kind of looked at this you thought it's part of the illustration and that's an easy way to um, correct things in your journal so on this side I then thought well you know I can't really remove them and they didn't look really great because like I said they just dissolved into the paper rather than staying nice and crisp um, lines so I thought, okay, let me just dry them off quickly with my heat gun and then I went over and did those daisies and the lines to correlate, like I said, to this style on the first page. So that was an easy way um, to correct things and this is why it's so fun to have um, a little journal going. And it could be, I really encourage you to start a journal this year and just kind of enjoy it even if you have nothing to write in just you know stick whatever stickers doodles i mean everyone can do doodles and this is a great example how simple it is so oh yeah this was a little mess up right here there was a little corner from the stamping i don't know why but it really bugs me when i'm stamping something and a corner gets um stamped as well I just really hate it so I basically went over and did a little daisy right here and again that looks cute because it works with the 
uh, with these daisies and I think what was it here these were also some corrections I don't remember what that was from from oh yeah the stamping corner same thing here and this pineapple didn't stamp correctly so I just took my beloved pilot and g-tag four uh, and I just basically went over and kind of finished it off and it looks quite cool because it gives you um, it gives that sort of personal touch to to a stamp as well you could go ahead and actually add more doodling around it but um, so yeah that's what I did and then for stamping I quite like and I really would recommend this one here so you can see Chanel one second I'll just grab it quickly so I purchased um, this and the pineapple and those bobble um, stamps, letter stamps, on the same day from Hobbycraft and they were really cheap as well as this thing as well. Um, and these stamp very well and they're really well made so nothing comes off, they're stuck quite well. So um, if you, and they're quite small, so if that's something you're looking for then I would highly recommend. Also. The fun bit about it is that every letter has a different style, so you kind of, you know, end up um, kind of adding some interest to the word. So, yeah, I hope you found this useful, and I might film um, the process of how I'm going to correct this incident and cover it up, and that will be um, in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed it and give me some thumbs up and see you soon. Thanks for watching.